All right, everybody, here we go. We're doing 1.4 SpongeBob and SketchUp. The purpose of this lesson is to understand how to model to actual size. We'll be using metric system. You can see millimeters all over the place. Um, we'll be learning how to do circles and make them to actual size and make this piece in SketchUp. Um, if you'd like to, you can download the file right here, and it kind of gives a orthographic and isometric view of SpongeBob, so you have a good idea of all of your different sizes here. So as we begin here, I'm taking a look at this um, SpongeBob here. I'm looking for some dimensions. I'm going to start out by drawing this outside rectangle, and I'm going to make it this deep. So I'm looking at 300 for a dimension. I'm going to look at 100 for a dimension. I'm going to come over here to look for a height. I can either find a height here, which I don't see it, so it must be over here. Oh wait, there is no height. This is a good example of why you need to have dimensions on everything. This should be 400 tall. So it's 400 by 300 by 100. So we are going to come over here. We're going to be in our SketchUp for Schools. And we're going to go, so that's in the App Store, SketchUp for Schools. And as this pops up, we have famous educational person, Temple Grandin here. She's just there for perspective. So we are going to save this right away. So to get this saved, You've already created your SketchUp folder in your Google Drive account. So you went into Google Drive, went to New Folder, and called it SketchUp, and hit Create. And I can see you already did that because it's down here. Right there's my SketchUp folder. Then we're going to save our file. So we're going to click here, enter the model name. We're going to all name this the same thing. This is, this is second hour, so we're going to go two for second hour, then you're going to put your log in. First five, your last name, first five, your first name, middle initial, zero, zero. Now we're going to call it Spongebob. Important that we name it like this. We're going to name everything like this. Any file, you're going to put that in front of it. And you're going to hit OK. It's going to ask you where you want to save this, and you want to put it in that brand new SketchUp folder you created. And there we go. Two, there it's saved. Okay? Our next video will begin setting up our model.